Hey, Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakah Hakudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Now, I don't know this uh, person here, it came up on my YouTube handle. You know, um, Tommy. Betsy TV, you know, um, but you see the title here. This caught my eye. Something is coming. We are losing control in the U.S. Now, these people of the world, I don't know if this young lady here is part of the elect fold that the Lord is going to open the eyes. Let me roll my window up real quick. As soon as I start going. <laughs> Going in recording, you know, everybody want to come around my uh, plantation vehicle. I'm at the plantation right now, so I'm not going to make this long. But um, the people in the world, you know, even they starting to see <clears throat> that uh, Great Babylon is losing its grip. You know, and this this will be around around this time, the holiday season, where everybody's running out, you know, to buy food for this, um, this uh, turkey day that's coming up. You know, then you got the tree day next month. This will be around about this time when people will start going to start getting a little anxiety. Actually, a lot of anxiety because they're looking at their pockets. They're looking at the food supply. They're looking at uh, inflation. You know, they're looking at a, a, a drought on a lot of things they want to get. A major hole. The Chinese was just over here, you know, uh, meeting with the U.S. And all this is about money. You know, China economy it took a big hit since 2020 with this whole... Uh, you know, sticky, icky thing that's supposed to be in the air. You know, America's taking a hit. So all the economies around the world, they feeling the pressure of the end of the world. So we can see going towards uh, the end of this year, early next year. You know, we're looking at um, a lot of things that are about to uh, take place, you know, in Great Babylon. Because, yes, we are at the end. You know, um, Babylon is uh, falling. Babylon is falling. Just like the scriptures say, matter of fact, before we get into this video, let me just uh, go right here to Revelations. Okay, I'm already there, it seems like. This is Revelations 18 and 1. It says, And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the inhabitation of devils, and of the whole of every foul spirit, in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now, of course, this was John seeing Babylon final annihilation, the destruction. You know, he saw the aftermath, you know, that it was just left for unclean spirits and you know, unclean, basically unclean animals, unclean birds, unclean animals is basically what this place was left with, you know, but the start of the fall of Babylon, which is America here, it's happening now. We see it unfolding now. He gave a mighty shout. Babylon is falling. That great city is falling. <laughs> you understand? So she's about to take a great hit in the world. They starting to see it. So everybody's getting, you know, Things about to really shake up. So that's uh hold on one second. Let's just take a look at this video. For miles stuck behind those protesters, people just trying to get to work or to school this morning or into San Francisco. So this is gonna cause a big mess for anyone commuting into the city. I love the country that I live in, do you? But at the rate it's going, chaos is right around the corner. We could be facing lockdowns. We could be facing curfews. Why am I saying all this right now? When 2020 hit, it gave them the, the picture of the future of what could happen as far as how they can control the narrative, how they can control what's happening they see that if they introduce fear into the situation, because we were all fearing what we did not know, did not understand, um, it was easier 
for them to come out and say, well, we're going to close everything down. We're going to lock things down. We're going to place curfews. You cannot come out past this hour right here. And that made it easier for them because we were willing to do it because we did not know what we did not know. And so the things that are happening right now could lead us back into a lockdown, could lead us back into those curfews. It may not be that some virus... Is she correct? We, we, we don't know. We know this thing is going to be tight. They already told you the second one is going to be worse than the first. So now the people, you know, um, they're not going to lock down, you know. They're not going to turn in their guns. A lot of people that took that sticky icky, they're not going to go for a second round of this. So we're looking for major chaos in the streets. And Esau is losing the information war. Because a lot of these people are starting to do research. You know, they're using their Googles for something else. Then folly and playing around. You know, people are getting worried. They weren't, they figuring out, like, should I uh, convert my dollar to the ruble? You know, should I be investing in today? The yuan, the yen, you know, should I you know, be converting to the British pound? Should I be buying gold? Am I um, looking into these bunkers? You know, people are actually making end of the world moves. It's like buying, you know, life insurance. You know, it's a sticky issue for a lot of people because you literally got to be faced with the uh, the business of death. But the reality is you're going to die in Babylon. And people are seeing that. And this is going to bring the, per the perplexity, you know, that you read about here in, uh, real quick, we'll get right back to this video, real quick, that you read about in Luke, Luke 21. So like I'm trying to make this quick. Luke 21 and 25, and I'm telling you, I'm here at the plantation, I'm looking at people, man. I'm, I'm having these conversations. They come, they're coming up more often. You know, this is Luke. 21 and 25 it says and there this nlt and there will be strange signs in the sun moon and stars a lot of solar flares man a lot of planets lining up you know they're, 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 they're seeing different moons they're catching different moons on different planets different solar systems there's a lot of things that's happening up top and here on earth the nation's will be in turmoil and that's what's happening the nations are in turmoil or the uh distress distress of nations and when you go into this word distress right look at this here when you go into this word it's the greek strong's g 4928 sunahe sunahe it goes into straits or difficulty, anguish, distress. It's a strong definition. Distress, anguish, anxiety. So a lot of people are going to be going through this. Uh, these anxieties, man. That's not a, you know, I used to get anxiety back in the day. It's not a comfortable feeling. You're losing sleep, feeling of fear, dread, unease. Anxiety is an emotion which is characterized by an unpleasant state of inner turmoil and concludes feelings of dread over anti an anticipated events. Like she just said, people worry. Are, is there going to be another lockdown? You know, is there going to be a famine? Are these men on the corner right? You know, they're looking at the nuclear bombs. Will there be a third world war? Are they going to draft my kids? AI technology is taking over these events. Right? It says, um, anxiety is different from fear in that fear is defined as the emotional response to the real threat, whereas anxiety is an anticipation of future threat. It is often accompanied by nervous behavior, such as uh, uh, pacing back and forth, stomach complaints, and um, rum, rumin, rumination, whatever that word means, right there. You know, I've never seen that word before. Okay, so you 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 get you look at this guy's face. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of faces real soon, man. A lot of faces, man. So let's let's, let's get back. 
to the script. So when the Lord said this here, it's Luke 21 and 25. And there will be strange signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And here on earth, the nations will be in turmoil, right? Perplexed by the roaring seas and strange tides, and the, the earthquakes, the, um, the, the, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, and the seas represent the people too. People will be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth. And this is the end of the world. This is the second coming of our Lord. So people are going to be terrified real soon. They're, they're going through different forms of terror. And the people that I'm seeing that's really in their bug out mode are these preppers. Because they are reporting the events, but they don't have the faith. They don't know what's going on. They're, they're not covered with the the the, 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 the wah. It's like a, a tongue twister. They're not covered with that Ezekiel 9 and 4. So they're terrified. People will be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. That's going all the way back to you nobles, man. Because you're living in a heavenly state right now. And your state, you're, you're shaking, man. You're, 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 you're scared. Then everyone will see the Son of Man. Why? Because we're about to see our Lord, Yahweh coming on a cloud which is that chariot you call ufos with power and great glory so when all these things begin to happen stand and look up for your salvation is near and it is near and these people don't know that's but they're sensing that something terrible is about to happen it's that anxiety part this is introduced into um the system it may be what is happening with the protest that's going on right now. U.S. Capitol Police clash with protesters demanding ceasefire in Gaza. They had to evacuate lawmakers, you guys. Officers used pepper spray to push the demonstrators to remove them from that area. And over 150 people were violently protesting, they say. Of course, others say they're lying. So U.S. Capitol Police officers in riot gear clashed with dozens of demonstrators who gathered outside the DNC Democratic National Committee headquarters in Washington on Wednesday evening to demand a ceasefire in Gaza. I'm at the point now where I'm kind of thinking some people don't even know what they're protesting for, but they see other people protesting. And so let me join. Do they really understand what they are protesting against? See, and that's the so whole point. Protest... Monkey see, monkey do. But that's going to bring the um, the insurrection that you read about in Second Ezra of 15 and 15. The insurrection, man. Not respecting the, the kings, the princes. You know, because people are fed up. And as they keep seeing these bodies drop, these bodies drop on the side of the Palestinians, this is going to bring that big T over here. That's why everybody's on high alert. Organized by three advocacy groups and held in the area near the U.S. Capitol lawmakers who are inside the DNC building said police had to evacuate the area. Protesters linked arm in front of the DNC building entrance where some saying, which side are you on? That is a great question for all of us. Which side are you on? So I'm going to stop it right there. Can we on your how about Shimei Abishai's side, man? Your how about Shimei Abishai? Brakata, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we stand on this side, the side of prophecies, you know, and I'm going to end it right here because I got to go, you know, I'm in a, a work vehicle. I don't know if this, this lady keep looking over here. She's about to come over here and ask me to move. All right. Okay. So this is um, Revelations 19. Right, 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy, man. So we into these prophecies. We on the side of prophecy at this time, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Bakaha Kadash, Shalom.